Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Leslie Monique. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, I just want to say thank you so much. And I will hope that you will hit the subscribe button so you can join the family. But yes, you click on the right title. Today's video is going to be a story time video on when, yes, I shared my boyfriend. Let's get into this video. When I was in middle school, I was in sixth grade. I remember this happened around sixth or seventh grade and I was dating this guy. What should I call him? His name is gonna be name brand because the nigga always was wearing name brand clothes. By the time we got in high school, middle school, everything, his name is name brand. I met name brand at my school, my middle school. Uh, I used to play basketball and he played basketball as well. So when they had a basketball game, they were playing my school, we were rivals. And during their intermission, he came to talk to me because the team, the best team was playing first and the second team was playing second. So he was going B team and the A team was playing at the time. So one of his friends came up to me and what should I call his friend? I'm gonna call his friend twin. So he came up to me, he was like, Say girl, what's your name? My friend wanna talk to you. My homeboy wanna talk to you. And at that age, I was very mature because I have older sisters and being around them made me so mature at a young age. So I'm like, why are you scared to talk to me? So he was like, talk to her, man, talk to her. So he came up to me. Like, so yeah, what's your name? Hi. My name is Leslie. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm <laughs> said the name but so we talking you know chopping it up and he was like can i get your number i just want to text you or whatever so we started texting we was texting for a couple of weeks didn't turn to months or whatever and we were boyfriend and girlfriend so we were together for a year we were still playing sports the next year or whatnot we're in eighth grade and stuff like that so I used to go to all of his events like football games, track meets, basketball games and stuff like that. So he was like, Baby, you gonna come to my game tomorrow or whatnot? Like, yeah, I'm gonna come to your game. Of course, baby, I'm gonna support you. Supported as a woman. <laughs> well, I asked my mama, I was like, okay, so can I go to the game tomorrow? He has a game tomorrow. Name brand has a game tomorrow. My mama loved name brand. Can I go to the game tomorrow? He has a game tomorrow. Name brand has a game tomorrow. My mama loved name brand for some reason. You know, he had it all good in the family and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mama liked him. So I was like, okay, mama liked him. Then he. Here go. So she was like, yeah, once I get off, we can all go to the game together because he asked my mom to come see him play too. So she wanted to go as well. And so, okay, I text him. I'm like, okay, babe, I can't come to the game today or whatnot. I'm gonna have to come to a different game just to surprise him so he don't know that I'm coming to the game so I can pop up and see what he's doing. But that wasn't my intentions at that time. So my mom get off, we ready to go, we get in the car, we go to the school, get in the game. Um, by the time I walked in the game, he's sitting on the bench. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, so he on the bench right now. He's taking a break and stuff like that. So make sure, you know, he gets into the game or whatever. So he's playing, he's scoring, you know. I'm like, okay, okay, baby, that's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> After the game and everything, they played the game. They won, woohoo, or whatnot. So after the game they all preparing their stuff to go home and stuff like that and we're waiting for him to be done so we can talk to him after the game and stuff like that so we just sit in me my mom my sister and one of my friends what should i call her her name is red her name is red because she's light skin like me they walking out the gym or whatnot so me my mom just sitting there and we just talking and waiting on him to come walk up to us so he's like walking with some other girl so she she all up on him and stuff like that and you know they kicking and laughing and i'm looking like who is this bitch I didn't know that he was, you know, I didn't know he was talking to any other girls because they didn't make it seem like it to me because, you know, we was like this. We was best friends. So he sees me and he walked past me with the girl. And I'm like, me and my mom look at each other like, he don't, he don't see you. He, hello. Hey, you don't see me. You don't see me. Me. 
So he walks out the gym. My mom was like, let's go. Because my mom was mad at me. She was like, I'm pissed the fuck off. You don't need to be talking to this little guy, little boy anymore. Because his intentions is in the wrong place. He's talking to a different girl. I'm just straight up embarrassed in front of my sisters, my mom, and my friend Red. So we walked out the gym or whatever. We get ready to go home and stuff like that. So I nudge him like this. He looked back and was, was like, oh, what's up? She really pissed me off then. I really wanted to backhand him and her. Don't what's up me and you be on the phone with me every night. Like, really? Are you freaking kidding me? Um, I'm upset. I'm just so, so upset. And my sister is trying to give me advice. My mom is trying to give me advice. And I didn't know what to do at that point. But I was just like, okay, I don't know what I should do. Should I call him? Should I text him? I was like, no, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just wait till he called me. So he texted me and he was like, did you come to the game? Bitch, what did you mean did I come to the game? You clearly said, what's up to me? So why are you asking me did I come to the game? So, you know what? I went off on him. I was like, you got me fucked up. And I'm fucking talking to you no more. You're a dumbass nigga. You're a fuck away. You I was just going the off on him. I had to get down to the point. And getting down to the point with the niggas is not even there. You got to go to the source. So I took it to the girl. I asked her. I didn't ask him shit at all. I went to her and asked her. Okay, so when I found out who the girl was that he was dating, the same time that he was dating me, I knew her friend. So I'm going to call her friend Jory. So I went up to Jory and I had asked her, I was like, so what's up with your best friend? I seen that she was with my boyfriend after his game. So what's up with that? Are they dating or anything like that? And she was like, wait, hold on. You're dating name brand and i was like yeah i'm dating him that's my boyfriend we've been together for a year now so you know just giving her backstory and everything on what happened between me and name brand and what we had going on at the time so she was like no i didn't know that you guys were dating that's my friend's boyfriend that's twiggy's boyfriend they've been talking for a couple of weeks now they hit it off they're in a relationship now so i'm like really so i went back to his ass and i'm like okay really are you freaking kidding me like you really dating this girl right now like you didn't tell me that you was dating someone else like you just doing stuff behind my back you think that's cool and he's like oh no i'm not dating her it's nothing like that she's like my sister and stuff like that i promise you where it's nothing that's going on between me and her at the end of the day I cussed him out. I told him don't ever, ever try to play me. And that was it for me and name brand. Now me, I'm a nice person. I have a nice gesture when somebody do anything wrong to me. I don't hold grudges towards people. So at the end of the day, I forgave him. He apologized to me. But yeah, I didn't know I was sharing my nigga with this bitch. So yeah, I cut him off. That was the story on me sharing my boyfriend with another girl. No, of course not. I did not know. If I would have known, it would have been hell to pay. Thank you guys. That's it about the story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you connect with me on social media as well. My links will be in the description box and on the screen somewhere. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love you so much. See you next time.